My husband wasn't going to take no for an answer when they told him we're just waiting basically um, for me to pass. And he was like, I just can't sit here and let her just die in front of us. You know, we got five kids. What are we, what am I gonna, who's gonna do their hair? And so he got on the internet and he Googled high risk transplants in the US and University of Maryland showed up. And we are so thankful for Google and <laughs> the search engine that found University of Maryland because I would not be here had it not been for that search. I was diagnosed with scleroderma and pulmonary fibrosis. So my scleroderma just affected my lungs and caused scarring of my lungs. So pulmonary fibrosis and scarring of the lungs, the same thing. And they told me, you're young, you're expected to live a long time, you're probably gonna need a lung transplant in your lifetime. And, you know, we're just monitoring my status and treating my symptoms up until this past September. And so they took me to the hospital, um, admitted me and said, let's pray for a donor because that's what you need right now. You need lungs. From what I was told, and there was a 1% chance that I would find a match. Um, I have high antibodies. Other than my antibodies, I'm the perfect candidate. Her center in Texas felt like her transplant was too high risk. She had um, all, uh, many preformed antibodies, so her immune system was revved up. The fear is that the patient will reject the lung very quickly and the transplant wouldn't save the patient's life. We went over the case and uh, I thought, you know, we could do it and our team, Dr. Pham, Dr. Kahn, Dr. Griffith, uh, also thought it was possible and uh, to keep her stable during transport, manage her while she was here, place her on a lung transplant list, use our protocol to minimize the immune system negative effect and get her transplanted to the point where she is today. Within 48 hours, I arrived and was transplanted. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I had two beautiful pre-owned lungs and it's a great thing. Okay, next breath. Full deep breath in. Blow! All of it out. Push, 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 push. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. A little bit more. Push, push. Big breath in. Deep, deep, deep. Great. I feel so much better. <laughs> uh, really, when you have a lung issue, uh, you really start appreciating the little things. I think I'll tell my children just, you know, never give up. Keep your faith and uh, think positive. I think having positive energy around you too is very beneficial. I don't think that I would have made it to the flight to get here had I not been positive. And maybe it was just being naive, not knowing you're about 10 days from dying um, and not believing that. If I had focused on that part, I don't think I would have made it this far. <laughs>